Hi, and thank you for tuning in to Noir Histoire. I'm Natasha, and in this episode, I'll be sharing what I've learned about Mark Dean. Born on March 2nd, 1957, notable inventor, nationality, American. Mark E. Dean was born in Jefferson City, Tennessee to Barbara and James Dean. Dean developed a passion for building things and his father, who was a dam supervisor at the Tennessee Valley Authority, supported his interests. Together, the pair worked on projects and built a tractor from scratch when Dean was still a child. In school, Dean was a diligent student who stood out for his intelligence and athleticism. He enrolled as an electrical engineering major at the University of Tennessee, from which he obtained a B.S. and graduated at the top of his class. Computers were on the brink of major changes and advances, and after graduation, Dean explored career opportunities with various technology companies. Dean accepted a position as an engineer at IBM, the company with which he would maintain a relationship for the rest of his career. His first project at IBM was a collaboration with Dennis Moyer on the personal computer project. The pair designed a system called the Industry Standard Architecture ISA System Bus. The ISA System Bus enabled memory, disk drives, and other accessories to be added or connected. This improved usability and expanded the capabilities of computers, which would become the foundation of the digital revolution and a modified version is still used by modern computers. When IBM released its first personal computer, it utilized the ISA bus. Of the nine patents awarded to the first IBM PC, three were developed by Mark Dean. By 1982, Dean, then only 25, was leading IBM's PC design group and also managed to complete a master's degree in electrical engineering at Florida Atlantic University. A decade later, Dean completed a doctorate in electrical engineering at Stanford University that was sponsored by IBM, while he continued to receive his full salary from the company. Dean's success at IBM and contributions to the personal computer continued into the 1990s. In 1995, Dean became the first black American to be named an IBM Fellow, a prestigious honor within the company. A few years later, he once again led an IBM team that would make history. This time, it was working with a team of engineers to create the first gigahertz chip, which went beyond what the industry thought was possible. Spending his entire corporate career at IBM, Dean held various positions within the company. While vice president of IBM San Jose Research Center, he led a team that was working on flat mobile PC devices. In a 1999 interview, he foretold the future of computing and described a tablet-style device that would be held and used like a newspaper or magazine. This was very similar to the design and capabilities of the iPad, which would debut a decade later. Given that Dean was an employee within IBM rather than the founder of a tech company, he's less well known in comparison to other tech visionaries, yet he has made tremendous contributions to the development and expansion of the personal computer. Patents attributed to Dean have grown to over 25. Over the years, he's received numerous awards and been inducted into Science and Inventors Halls of Fame in recognition of his work. Mark Dean retired from IBM in 2013 and returned to his alma mater, the University of Tennessee, as the John Fisher Distinguished Professor at the Tickle College of Engineering. Thanks for tuning in. Show notes and sources are available on the Noir Histoire website via the link in the episode description. I'm working on creating downloadables and infographics, so keep an eye on the website. These Black History Facts are released every Tuesday, so if you enjoyed this episode and want more, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and check out my Black History Facts playlist.